really think that the GSD, Gibraltar needs a change of government and the GSD is the party to provide that change. We're putting forward a really experienced team, a really capable team, and we could do a really good job and if elected will do a really good job for in, in government. It is really time for change and uh, the main reason for that is because people are I think very seriously concerned with the state of uh, public finances, with matters such, such as for example public, uh, public tendering of certain projects, um, the granting of certain lands and things like that. We need more openness, we need more transparency. I've decided to stand for election because I have a, a long history in business in Gibraltar. I feel I have a lot to offer in that sector. Um, I'll be offering a pro-business approach. I feel the sector is in need of a lot of, a lot of help and um, it's underrepresented in Parliament. Well, it's all about public finances. Uh, that's what I'm going to focus on. That's what I've been doing the last four years. And I, I certainly think it's getting increasingly important that we get a grip on our public finances. And so I'm standing to offer myself for re-election again. I have a lot of experience uh, spanning over 20 years. I've been Minister for Justice, Leader of the Opposition, and it wouldn't be right for me to turn my back on my party and my community at this moment in time when it's so critical. So we need to create better opportunities for our young people. We need to create an apprenticeship scheme for our young people so that they have that opportunity for the future. And there's plenty of work for us to do. Uh, and collectively with this team, all the great minds that we have there, with great ideas, will present a, a viable option for the future for Gibraltar. Uh, I think there are a lot of issues in our community. Basically, I, I think the point of clarity, I think the, the people deserve more clarity. I think one thing that really worries me as well is, is the fact that you know that there's not a proper training program and for our children, for our young people. I have concerns about um, the way that things are going in Gibraltar. I have concerns for our community um, and, and I thought it was time to address those concerns. I then took a very good look around and I realised that um, women are grossly underrepresented in Parliament, in political parties and I thought it was time for, for there to be another addition. I'm standing yet again because I have unfinished business to do. Yes, uh, I really, really enjoyed my tenure as a government minister. Uh, I made my little contribution. I've tried to hold the government to account over the last couple of, of parliaments as a member of the opposition, but I hope I'm given the chance to resume a, a ministry because I have great ideas in mind. They'll be exposed in a manifesto, but yes, unfinished business is certainly my determination.